now we are in the studio area, and Lola, what are we about to do now? We're about to play with this! <laughs> Your hosts, Sunny and Lola. Hey, guys. <laughs> so, if you can't tell already what this is about... We're in a different space, number one, so I'm sure they're like, what's going on? Exactly. Oh, oh. <laughs> there goes something. Um, so... We are actually in my bathroom. You know, I've got the shower, you know, and... <laughs> That's uh, why yeah. it's such tight quarters really right hard. now. Um, and this little tub, which is not, it's not so little. little, I wish you could see how big it really is, is full of doll clothes. And why do you have that jar? Because we're going to use this. For laundry! What? Laundry day! So it's laundry day today, if you haven't already figured it out. And thanks to Doty over at Doty's Dolls, which we will link in yes, the comments. We will we will pin it in a comment below. Yes. Um, she has taught us because we're still beginners in doll collecting, even though we've really been collecting all of our lives. We didn't know all the stuff that Wait. you. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> we didn't know all the stuff that you should be doing, and when we were starting to buy clothes at thrift stores. Mm, no, I already <laughs> smelled it. You can smell. I did actually a couple weeks ago mm. around Christmas. I did a haul of these and like laid all these out, mm -hmm. and I was like, <sighs> some of these time. clothes either have a musty smell or a cigarette smell. Let's be real, they all have a musty smell. Well, maybe not all of them. Like that's no, super all bad. Of them in this box too. Well, not super bad, but anyway, um, they might have some sort of smell, and because I have allergies and Lola has some allergies, we definitely need to get the smell out now. Our mistakes, we've done some mistakes with clothes in the past. What did we do before? We tried dryer sheets, but they didn't, they made them smell even more heavily One perfumed. time when I was washing clothes, and I know I'm gonna get a comment from some of you guys, you're like, you're not supposed to put the whites with it. Well, I um, actually took, I forget what it was, it was something like this, mm -hmm. where it has like a bright color. I wanna say it was like red with um, some I think white purple. Clothes. Yeah. And so they red. ended up being like pink, pink which or, it was okay. Or light it was, I think it was just a shirt. But. So anyway, we've made a lot of mistakes, and Doty has taught us this method, which we're gonna teach to you and pass on what we're doing to clean our laundry. So and I also want to kind of give a shout out to um, Bruni Bell Barbie, yes. and I'll link her blog below. But she's actually the one that was like, "Hey." Can you guys do some laundry? And, uh, I had forgotten about, okay, let's be real, I was putting this off. I'm not I really, laundry, I mean, like, 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 laundry is not my favorite thing to do. This is not our favorite chore, 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 chore. Uh -oh. I can't even talk, I'm so tongue-tied, but there are so many really cool pieces in here that we can't wait to, oh, oh that my goodness, me. that scared me at the time. what the who is that? Is that it's, uh, Cinderella's, Cinderella's stepmom. stepmom? Why is there a face of her in here? I have no idea. <laughs> I just don't <laughs> Anyway, so. there's so many amazing things in here that we want to be able to use, but um, we have to we have to wash it we first. We need to at least get the Dis Yeah, the disinfect it. Out. There's some stains. There are is some smell uh, to them, uh, musty or dirty or whatever. So we want to try to get those out. And so what you're going to see next is the process of us doing some of the laundry and then we'll show you what we do with it when it gets washed yes um and so we'll go from there so okay, you're so gonna go ahead you won't see these faces <laughs> anymore for the rest of the video <laughs> i'm like we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and flip the camera and mm -hmm. then we'll be right back and we're going to be in lola's bathroom trying to get this done so in for case you, you in the bathroom there, wonder what my bathroom looks like <laughs> yeah you out there <laughs> that person that that one person that's obsessed with lola and what what her bathroom looks like <laughs> <laughs> yeah so just hang tight and what you'll see next is us doing laundry in the sink and i was gonna say lola's bathroom is under construction we've been trying to test out paint colors and we are going to start I literally painting, like so. have a wall with like yeah with patches on it so yeah. um uh, that's what you're gonna see so yeah so let's so, get going yeah let's get started yeah, let's get some oh, yeah. laundry done okay we're back and again we're in lola's bathroom and uh so this is lola on the screen <laughs> here and she's going to show you first that we you know we picked out a few uh random pieces out of the yeah. laundry basket okay so you're going to pick the first thing go go I'm ahead i'm going to start with this one because i want to talk about this a little bit i have to adjust my camera because i'm like right okay 
So when you're washing this, the best way to wash something that has a lot of glitter or, or an iron on or iron ons or anything that has like, you want to be gentle with this. Obviously, I'm being super duper gentle trying to get it to come the other side here. You want to turn it inside out because that's going to preserve that glitter and whatever else might be on the inside. And make sure you attach the Velcro when you turn it inside out yes. because I've snagged a lot of dresses when I've left the Velcro just kind of hanging out. Okay, now we use this jar. You can use almost any kind of not this specific jar, but we use, right. um, this is just a wide mouth. It's like a canning jar, and we yeah. actually found it on clearance at our Walmart for 50 cents, which is why we bought it. So, what we use to clean our doll clothes, and everybody does something different, make sure to leave a comment below and let us know what you use, is I just use the slightest drop of Dawn. So, like, two or three drops. Mm -hmm. You can't even really tell it's there. Just very, very little. You don't need a lot. And I would add water next, a little bit of water, just because I have experienced once in a while, especially if you use something very light colored, where the blue tends to leave just like a little bit of coloring. Hopefully it washes out, but I have seen that happen before, so just in case. So you add a little bit of water, shake it just a little bit, and then we gotta put the dress mm -hmm. in. So I try not to like fold it or do anything crazy with it. Just kind of stuff it down the But just kind of like this. And then I'm going to add more water. So ASMR, ASMR. And I'm using cold water. You don't want to fill up all the way. But what I like to do is like three fourths of the way. You want to leave a little space because you want to be able to have room for the water to move around to like agitate once you put the lid on. Okay. So you put the lid on and you want to make sure your lid is on tight and good. Whoops. One time I did it in the kitchen while nobody was home, <laughs> and I was like shaking it, and then water was everywhere. So, and then you just want to shake it so. gently. You don't need to shake it hard, you just need to shake it gently. And you can turn it a little bit, just kind of like enough to get it clean. And some okay. stuff you'll see, this one not so much, because this one just has a little bit of a stench more than anything. But there's some pieces that you'll see that have like actual dirt that goes mm -hmm. to the bottom. We actually found a Barbie flight attendant suit, like a pants suit and a jacket that actually had some sort of makeup or something in the jacket that we didn't know about. No. And we kept getting red stuff on the doll. And she had like dye in her hair, mm -hmm. like a pinkish red color. So we think it might have been some sort of dye or something that they got on the clothes. And so it took us like five times of rinsing it, but every time we would rinse it, the water would turn pink. So I just kept washing it until the dye, till the water wasn't pink anymore. And so that's another reason why we like to use the clear or the or a see-through jar so you can kind of see if there's anything lifting from it that you need to keep watch on. Okay, so I've shaken it up quite a bit. And we'll show the next step next after we wash everything else. But what I usually do is I usually put my hand kind of like you would do if you were straining something. Mm -hmm. you strain it. I put my hand here. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Um, and I take the dress out and then I usually just leave the jar. I don't know if you have to wash it out. I, I do rinse it out a little bit, but I mean, if I'm going to reuse it, I don't. So I just put a little water in it and I'll set it to the side. That's what I would do. And then... And then you want to rinse your laundry. So, whoops. <laughs> you don't have to do like a lot of like, like yes. squishing it, moving it around. You definitely you want, want to make sure, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you rinse out the soap though. That's the thing. You don't want to leave the soap behind. So what I usually do is give it a rinse or two, then squeeze it like Lola's doing now. Then let the water hit it, really get it soaking wet again, and then give it another um, squeeze or two before I lay it on a towel. And then we'll show you what to do with these dresses next um, in an another yeah, you know, after we get some of this laundry done. So what we're going to do now is just kind of speed up the process and wash the rest of these and um, doing the same technique. So you'll see a sped up process here now of a few more of these and then you'll see us back in the studio and we'll show you what to do next. So speeding up right now, Lola.
And we are back, and now we are in the studio area. And Lola, what are we about to do now? We're about to play with this! <laughs> okay, now this was another thrift store. Wait, wait. ASMR. No, that's not, that's annoying. ASMR. <laughs> okay, now that Lola's done playing. Okay, so this was another purchase that we made um, that, again, was at um, Dodie's suggestion. Yeah. And we thought she was crazy because we're like, what are we going to do with a salad? Said, she said, get a salad spinner. I'm like, we don't even like spin <laughs> our like, salads. What is a salad spinner? Everybody keeps asking me that. I think a salad spinner is what you put your greens, like your lettuce and stuff in. After you wash it, you can wash it and then put it in here and it gets all the excess water off. Really? Because I thought it was one of those things that you used to turn your salads, like to incorporate it. No. <laughs> That's what, that's what you use tongs for. Okay, well, that's Okay, well, it. anyway, we happen to be at a thrift store, Obviously and I saw, this, I saw this, and I thought, that's really neat. What is that? I can and hear then... her across the store. I'm not joking. I was like, told about like, it. she says, no. it's a salad spinner. I found a salad spinner. And it was only $3, which I thought was a really good price for a KitchenAid salad spinner. And the spinner. older guy at the counter was like, cool. Yeah, and everybody always plays with it. They always do that whenever they find it. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. So you take the lid off, and on the inside, it almost looks like the inside of like a washing machine dishwasher. or a dishwasher. Oh, and this one still has water in Whoops. the bottom. I was doing some laundry yesterday. <laughs> so. Okay, so what we're going to do is put some of the items that we just washed in here um, into this. I'm going to hand you the lid here, Lola. And I usually put one per compartment. So there's three compartments. I imagine if you had similar colors, you could probably do two, but you well, don't get them as dry. I just like them to be separated. And then it's what we're going to do, <laughs> then what we're going to do is do the fun part, which is you just push down on the lever. And as you can see, this builds some muscle. We can be like Popeye, build our muscle. Oh my goodness, I'm like over here struggling. Okay, so you just want to do this like a number of times. Let it spin a few times. Do it again. And then what you're going to find is what happens when you take the lid off and you take these items out, you'll see even more water than we already had in there. <laughs> Lola's going to dump the water. Oh, you're making me... Okay. Yeah, go, go dump the water, Lola. And just to be clear, if you get one of these like this, make sure you pour it towards the end that has the lip there. <laughs> Once again, it's okay, okay, so Lola's going to pour the water now. I'm going to test this to see if it's still soaking wet at this point, which this one is not. I'm going to put it back into this. So this one needs a lot more spinning than this one because the water is absorbed more in this one. Um, and let's see, on this dress here, it feels like it needs a little more spinning, too. So I'll put oh, those back. back. Yes. <laughs> I will put those back. <laughs> Hint, Lola. <laughs> and then I'll throw in uh, another thing in this space here that is open. Okay, so we take this. And, and we'll before this you start back, spinning. Back in there. Do we want to talk about these? Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me, let me put the lid back on. Pause. Okay. Entertain everybody. Um, <laughs> these are just from the dollar store, I think. Right. They were just like 99 cents. Well, they we didn't buy these. Someone didn't actually, someone actually put these in a gift for um, my husband at work or something like that. And uh, this is like a sparkling grape juice. Uh, neither one of these have alcohol in them. This is root beer. This is this is um, sparkling grape juice. So, uh, with that said, I didn't want anybody to think that we were using anything like that. You can use any type of bottle, but we found that when you use this bottle, it kind of has that woman shape. You know, it's got the straight up part and then the, the curvy part here. So, what we do... Hold on, hold on, oh, hold well, on. that's going to give me... Well, you don't want to attach it yet. You want to put the dress on it first. Well, you're going to put it... So, you put it on here, like this, on the bottle, like this, and then you... Velcro it just like you would on a doll. So we Velcro it here. And then what happens is when you dry it, that kind of gives, of course, you, you want to. Velcro it, right? Oh, I didn't? No. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I have I'm... to fix it. It's going to bug me if I don't. I know it won't Velcro exactly perfect because this isn't okay, the same well, size as what I was trying thing. to tell you. It might bunch it's a little okay. bit. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, and then if it has a fitted place in the area up the front, you just want to kind of shape that a little bit. 
And then what happens is we put this in a window where we have some sun, uh, but it doesn't get direct sun because, you know, that might fade your clothes. Or we put it over by... A uh, dish dryer. Yeah, we put it over <laughs> by, really, it just sits on a, a shelf, really, where, you know, it sits in the daylight. Yeah. Okay. Help me out here, Lola. Okay. So I'm, I'm struggling. Um, it sits somewhere and it dries. I don't like to put it over vents or anything. Right. I mean, you probably could put it with fans or vents. Right. But I don't know if it would give it like a smell or anything. Well, the like, purpose of putting it on the bottle, though, is just to keep the shape so that when it dries, it's not drying all crazy and you don't have to, um, what do you call it? Iron yeah. it. And then we'll do another load. I want to do it. I want to do it. Okay, you do it. I want to do it. My arms are getting tired. Okay, so you just keep doing this process, so we'll just keep doing it, and okay, then... Okay, your turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we got any actual water out of that one, because that's the fun part to me. I was so amazed when Dodie told us this, I was like, no way, this is not going to work. There you go. There's some water still in there from, probably from the big red sweatshirt one. And so, again, you're just going to repeat the process. So this is another dress. This one we probably should have put over on the, um, and actually this one feels still a little soapy there, Lola. I don't know. You feel that. Let's see. Again, if no, it it's feels... just the material. Okay, it's just the material. Okay, so if it feels soapy, if it feels too wet, you want to, again, do one the same treatment. you can treatment. tell if it still has soap in it mm -hmm. is you'll see bubbles, and you can also take that noise there. You'll mm -hmm. bring up the, um, the soap. Okay, so for items like pants we just put them on a towel just like this and just lay it flat and then what I like to do is about I don't know an hour or two after they've been laying flat especially if they're thin material or small amount of material I like to go over and turn them over and that is actually how I discovered that one suit had um staining in it or had yes. like some kind of dye in it because when I came back, I found dye in the towel underneath it. So that was good that I came back and checked it because then I knew I had to wash it again. Another way you can do these, um, you can put them on there is just to take it and just put it over the top. Mm -hmm. The only risk you run with that, though, is the bodice of the outfit not falling the exact right. way you want it to. I don't right. know if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. And then, like, on this one, we would probably just lay it like this. And then again, we would just flip it over. Yes. Um, after some time, I'm gonna move this off of the, um, off the, the set here. Oh, that's my alarm. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Well. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pause. I have a bunny who's on medicine right now, yeah. and I have him like on the clock. So let's recap. So what we did was we washed the clothes, put them in a jar mm -hmm. to wash them, and you saw our process for that. You saw our process for drying them. Actually, this is getting the excess water out of them. And our process for making sure that the items, you know, don't lose too much shape to them uh, by putting them on bottles. I'm sure there are other things. I know Dodie has mentioned other things. Well, like, um, I think she mentioned the Christmas trees, the little fake yes. um, gold, like, lame Christmas trees that underneath they have a, um, a shape, like a cone shape. Um, at Christmas time, um, and if you just remove all the stuff on them, they have like a plastic cone shape underneath. Those would be great to dry dresses on. And I'm hoping that maybe she might have a tip for drying these if if they hang them, if she hangs them, or you know, if she just leaves them on towel like we do. Or and the other thing I'll say too is some outfits you have. There's some that are stretched. If you have a stretchy material. There are some ASMR. Yeah, I'm like, you can't uh, stop doing that. There are some that are just stretched, and you're just, like, you're not going to be able to fix it. Right. But there are others, like this material, where it's that scratchy material. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. But um, it's that scratchy material. <laughs> scratchy. Um, that w no matter who you put it on, it'll hold shape. Right. So, right. you know, you have to really kind of take it as it is. And, mm -hmm. you know, we also have a mending pile. So a pile of... Oh, more work. That somebody needs to start <laughs> sewing. Somebody. Oh, it sounds like me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we just wanted to show you our process. This is what we do. We have a lot more laundry to do. I know. I can't stop. This is fun. Who said laundry couldn't be fun? This part is fun. Okay. This part right here. Let me go get that box and you can start no. the rest. It's not that fun. My arms hurt. <laughs> <laughs> See? And the truth comes Which out. Which is why we do a little at a time. And, and that's another tip I would have is do a little at a time. If you have a lot like us, do a little at a time and then you don't feel so overwhelmed. Make a game out of it. I don't know See, about making it. See, we can make it in the salad spinner first. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know about making a game out of it, but do a little at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. And so those are our tips. And thank you again to Dodie for everything we've mm -hmm. learned so far. We'll link her and our friend Bruni down mm -hmm. below her blog. They're both awesome people. Exactly. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit those subscribe buttons below and in the upper right corner, check out our other channel, which is called Sunny's Toys and, and Dolls, dolls. And which I is will... where we play with, yeah, well, Lola plays with the dolls over there on that channel. <laughs> I'll put Stan's face like right here at the end because yes. I know a couple of people have asked, so I will yes. also link that in the pinned comment. If you're yes. looking for the second channel, make sure you check that link out. Right. Check so out all those links. There'll be three links in the linked comment below. And if you uh, are still watching at this point, <laughs> leave us a comment and tell us what you, how you do the laundry if you do it the same way. If you do your doll laundry differently, we realize that everybody's going to do doll laundry differently. You have your own way of doing it. You have your own tips and tricks. There's no way that's better or yeah, worse. Yeah, I don't I think mean, there's some that are great, but... <laughs> well, I don't know about worse. There might be somebody washing in the creek down there. You know, that don't might not be great. Don't use your toilet. <laughs> yeah. Don't use... Yeah, don't... Yeah, so uh, on, that, water. Uh, on that note... Comment below and tell us what your tips and tricks are, if you would do anything different, or if you have any um, suggestions for us, um, and or if, or if you do your laundry like this or didn't know how to do laundry, we'd love to hear about it. So, so that's all we have for you. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye! Bye.